I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard in the KCIW Newsroom. Folks from the HIV Alliance showed up for work in Brookings on Friday, December 15th, but were told, go home. That's because the Curry County Board of Commissioners doesn't want the HIV Alliance to operate out of a county building. Jessica Sainar Andrews is the Del Norte and Curry County Bureau Chief for the Lost Coast Outpost. She's been following the story and says the move to oust the HIV Alliance has everything to do with Measure 110 and perceptions about drug users. What is HIV Alliance and what does it do? So HIV Alliance is based in Eugene, and they have um, all kinds of services. A lot of it is uh, focused toward on preventing uh, HIV and hepatitis, um, hep-, hep C, uh, in, in Curry County. They offer a needle exchange program. Um, so they will, uh, you know, people can go there and get clean needles to ensure that they don't transmit um, HIV and Hep C. Um, in those kits, they receive fentanyl test strips to make sure that the substance they're using doesn't have fentanyl in them. And they receive uh, naloxone, which is the substance used to reverse an opioid overdose. And and they're all over. They've got, they've got offices in Salem. They've got offices in, I guess, Roseburg and Glendale and Grants Pass. And they're, they're in a lot of, they're in a lot of Oregon communities. Well, what is it that they are doing in Curry County that made it so necessary to shut them down? I think the main the main problem that the commissioners had was the the was that they were giving people clean needles. They they were concerned about the paraphernalia the the quote unquote paraphernalia that 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 was being given out. And how did they have the authority to shut them down? Well, it, they're, they're operating out of a county building. That county building is the Curry Community Resource Center, and it houses both the Veteran Services Department and the Juvenile Department. The HIV Alliance also uses the Community Resource Center on Fridays. Once a week on Fridays for two hours. They, um, they occupy a room at the facility, at least according to um, the HIV Executive Director, Renee Yandel, they're there for they're there for two hours and then they're done. So they're only there a short time once a week. And how many people uh, do they service? Do you know? Uh, between ten and twelve. And what is it that um, Commissioner Alcorn objected to that they were doing there? Is it that they were? Is it is it is it the idea of having some kind of a program there that bothered him or? Is there something in particular that they were doing that set up a red flag for him? He uh, he said that uh, he said that someone who remained anonymous or he who wanted to be anonymous went to the site and received two kits that were in a Ziploc bag that had syringes, cookers, band aids, alcohol wipes, a fentanyl testing kit, two glass pipes two PVC mouthpieces to put on the pipe, a stretch tourniquet wrap, and four liquid Narcan vials. He was upset. His One of his quotes was, I want to make sure the people that might be handing that stuff out are clear about what that ordinance is, and I want to enforce that ordinance. He was talking about the county's um, ordinance against safe injection sites. Um, their argument was that they may not be handing out the drugs, but that they felt like that there may be drugs nearby or some, they're going to be going to get those drugs after they receive these kits. So it, it sounds to me like Commissioner Alcorn believes that by the HIV Alliance handing out kits that include pipes and clean needles and um, clean mouthpieces, uh-huh. that it is encouraging people to go and buy drugs nearby and, and use, and use the, them. gotcha. So they're also, uh, th- yeah, they're also concerned about Oregon Measure 110, the Drug Addiction Treatment and Recovery Act, which, which made the penalty for possessing illicit drugs for personal use a violation, a Class E violation, with a $100 fine for a completed health assessment. And according to... Um, to Commissioner Alcorn and Commissioner Trost, to them, there's no, there, there's that's not holding a person person accountable criminally 
for for possessing that substance. They have wanted to overturn uh, Oregon Measure 110 earlier this year. They they uh, discussed the possibility of return or of uh, re- overturning that measure. Alcorn wanted to get um, every county commissioner in the state on board with that that effort. The only reason it ties into this overall discussion is is about the um, HIV Alliance site is because of of uh, of just the the oh, the drug issue, the opioid issue. That was Lost Coast Outpost Del Norton Curry County Bureau Chief Jessica Sainar Andrews. You can find her story about Curry County and the HIV Alliance online at lostcoastoutpost.com. And you can also find it right here on KCIW at kciw.org. For KCIW News, I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard.